this is what you got when you tow, folks. I have to wait for this white Dodge. The passenger just came out and got in. And now I gotta wait for the driver to come out and uh, wait for the Dodge to leave before I can swing wide enough to get out of here. That's what you got when you tow. Hit that like and hit that um, notification bell. <laughs>
keep an eye on Silver back there, make sure she goes where we go. Looky here, folks. I got my co-pilot with me because the Jeep's getting towed. Well, actually, I got one, two, three co-pilots up here, and I got one in the back, in the back, uh, on the, on the bed, so. Glad to have my co-pilot. That's a good cruising speed right there. Keep her between 60 and 65. You're going to get there. More likely in one piece going at this speed. Saving a little bit of gas. When you're driving, when you're driving in class A, you want to relax your arms as much as possible. Just let your hands rest on the steering wheel. It's really nice if you have the armrest. Sometimes I find myself up here and I'm all stressed out and uh, my shoulders are sore in a short period of time especially the night of our drive. So I try as much to remind myself, you know, some days are worse than others because of the wind, but I try as much as I can to remind myself to just rest my hands down here, let the RV drive, and just relax my arms, relax myself, and just try to get the stress out. And just, you don't want to go too fast. Again, you're going to get there. Like the cruising speed of 60 to 65. So just, there's, there's little things you can do to relax. I remember when I first got uh, the A class A, not this one. Boy, I was I was all tense and I had a hold of the steering wheel and I thought I had to you know really control the wheel and just just relax and rest and uh, let the RV drive basically drive itself, just like a car.